Taylor. Good morning. Mr. Hinman, how you doing? I'm quite all right, thanks. They told me you, uh, you want to drive our car. Oh, well, my team was telling me that you want to drive my car. Got to golf around this afternoon, got to put my club somewhere. NSX looks like a perfect vehicle. Yeah, real funny guy, huh? How do you like driving a car with an SUV motor in it? Well, I don't mind an SUV motor that wins races and championships, you know? That's all we want as race car drivers, right? <sighs> Can I drive your car? Can I drive your car? Rock, paper, scissors? Sure. All right. Well, the schedule says I drive first anyway. Hop in. Okay. Oh, no. No. All right, how do I get in? All right, so <laughs> sit down here, spin your legs in, hold the top there, and slide right in. In we go. All okay. right. Okay. That's pretty easy. Throw the pedals on the right, brake pedals in the yeah. middle, uh -huh. and then clutches on the left. Lots of buttons and fancy switches. To leave the pits, clutch in, first gear, you can use the limiter and just use the launch control. Yeah, uh, so you're telling me just dump the clutch? Just pretty much dump Full the power and yeah. let her rip. Yeah, let it build okay. boost for a little bit. What's F minus, the grade that you're going to so, give me after I drive this thing? Or? Yeah, yeah, these are your grades. <laughs> so we don't have ABS in the ARX 05. Uh, um, yes. It's carbon brakes. They will switch on instantly. You'll build heat really quickly. They're going to stop really, really well. You don't need a ton of brake pressure. Okay. You're going to get a feel for that. So, um, you know, my GT style meathead self doesn't need to go to go into the corner and try to bury this brake pedal through the firewalls. No. It sounds it, like it's a lot more finesse. Yeah, a lot more, a lot more sensitive. I think everything you do with, with the prototype, the, the slower and more precisely that you do it, the more the car likes it. Okay. So now you're up to speed on all the electronics, all the buttons, all the switches, and I'm told you're a professional, so uh, yeah, okay. let's, uh, let's get her back in one piece. Profession Have fun. Professional used loosely, <laughs> and uh, yeah, no pressure. Thanks, pal. Not bad for an SUV motor, huh? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, nice job there, turn one. Carrying good speed now. Keep testing it. Still trying to get a feel for the tire on the braking. If your neck does get sore, just don't say anything. That might just be in your seat. You can sit how quick we're going here. It's a little scary, so don't mind me. I still get to drive your car, don't forget. Good point. The other thing that's really cool too is the way it just builds down for so noticeable. Like on your core as you're uh, building speed. I mean, it continues to accelerate, but uh, you can feel yourself just getting absolutely plowed into the ground. I don't know how you race in the space door to door with other people. 
Good job. Look at it. <laughs> Holy Yeah. This thing is you did great. Unreal. It was really unreal good. Yeah. It's been eight years since I've driven a single seater car. So to get back into something of that nature mm -hmm. was uh, definitely tricky at first, mainly because of how quickly everything's sort of coming at you, right? Yeah. Just especially when you're really starting to pick up some mid corner speed. But the biggest thing is just the feel, the feedback that this car gives you. I think that's why getting up to some sort of relative pace wasn't too difficult, just because of how much information you're receiving through, you know, your seat, through the pedals, through the wheel. No, you did great. What did you think of the, the braking? Pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> At first. Were the carbon brakes weird to get used to? Or? Yeah, they, yeah, they were. Um, especially with your description of okay, you know, you first build temperature, and you yeah. can feel it even though you're up to temperature. Yeah. Right. In every brake zone, there's still that little bit of like an initial, yeah. like that first application of brake. Yeah. It's not quite there immediately. I think that's something that you'll feel in in the NSX where you can hammer that thing right away. The yeah, is. super hard. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing yeah, what you think of, of my beast, but I didn't want to get out of this thing. I know. I, I know. This was like, oh my God. All right, so now that you let me drive the DPI, it's time for you to drive the NSX GT3. So, actually, all right, I'll show let, me around. I'll let you uh, try to open that door there. That's right. Oh, oh wow, that's you actually got the first show try. Me the okay, he read the manual, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Both feet. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's commitment. Looking like a real GT driver. Hold clutch, first gear. So, it'll be two pedals at the same time. Yep, hold clutch, first gear, release clutch, then go to throttle. Okay. So I just drive off like a go-kart? Yeah, exactly. Okay. 100%. Don't get these two mixed up. I've done that before and oh, I've killed yeah, the car at the true. end of pit lane and yeah. I look like an idiot. So, <laughs> and then ABS, that's the knob that you don't have. I don't know what that and is. And we do. So where the NSX is really strong is with its quality of braking, right? Where HPD really did a great job was uh, creating a, a lot of feedback through that brake pedal. So pay attention to the amount of pulsing that you have through the brake pedal, sort of the vibration that you get. One other main thing that I wanna, wanna talk about with your car, you're off that brake pedal way sooner and you're carrying a lot more mid-corner speed. So I think okay. you know, a little bit of a perception difference there is gonna, it's gonna take some time to get used to. Apart from that, you're on your own, pal. All have right. some fun. Thanks a lot. Ignition on. You look great out there, man. You look great. You said it was going to feel really lazy, but man, it, it does change directions pretty well. If that change of direction is so good, try not to mess up your golf clubs in the back there, pal. I might miss my tee time. This is too much fun. <laughs> high initial pedal pressure, but it, it works really well once you get used to it. You can still get away with a little bit more here by the looks of it. That ABS, so the more you trust it, the better the car feels. I mean, you can really balance the car however you want. It makes it really great for endurance racing, next changing, and you always want as many tools as you can get. You guys need a fan in here. <laughs> You know, coming from the prototype, um, we're always flashing the lights, kind of trying to get you to move out of the way. 
But it is busy in here. Holy cow. So, yeah, a lot of respect to you guys. That's, uh, that's a lot of work. I mean, compared to the DPI, um, it does everything well. Like, you can, it's so forgiving with the way the car handles. You can make it do what you want with the pedals. Um, it's a really nice car to drive, does everything very predictably. Yeah, it's about damn time you give me an apology for all those passes that you've thrown on us. But uh, it's good, good to good to see you get the uh, the idea of what's going on in the GT car. You know, obviously, guys at your level are going to pick this up very quickly. So it's it's fun to watch, fun to be a part of. Did it. Copy. Did it. You already pulled into the pit box uh, more accurately than I do, so do, do you just want to keep this thing full time? I'll gladly take yours full time. We can we can switch for a couple of days. That was a blast. Well, thanks again, Trent, for sharing your beautiful machine here and all of your expert wisdom, uh, helping getting me up to speed and getting used to the, the NSX GT3. Um, really gained a, a huge appreciation for what you guys do, especially being out there with us, uh, you know, crazy prototype drivers, t really taking advantage of the racetrack. Um, next time I come up on you guys, for sure, at least the number seven will give you a little bit more space. Oh, well, thanks. It was an uh, incredible experience, and I appreciate all your help get me up to speed in the ARX05 and same for me. I mean, the, the difference in perception is extreme. So I'm gonna definitely think twice before I maybe throw that block on you guys and not let you through. But uh, no, thank you again for all your help and uh, we should do this again sometime. Let's do that. Right on.